Hey everybody, welcome back to Battle Ready Inc. So today's feature match for you, we've got two of probably the most anticipated decks of this format after the recent ban list. These two decks are now full on in the spotlight. We've got Grandis OTK versus Alphamon. Alphamon got all of its new support in this set as well as Green OTK revisiting a former deck from the past and bringing it up to modern standards. So this game is nuts, okay? Both sides just absolutely pop off like you want to see it, and uh, you will not be disappointed. Don't forget our new memory marker this month is Gummy Mon. So if you are playing some green or you're just uh, a Terrier Mon fan in general, this is a great memory marker for you. This is handmade out of clay by my wife, hand painted as well. Very, very adorable. You can find this on our Etsy page, link in the description below. Also there, you can find all of our previous memory markers we've featured on the channel before, as well as some of our Battle Ready Ink merch. All right, kicking things off, we've got green going first. We see that Digiburst Yokomon, and then going into that Promo Palmon, which is another Digiburst, one giving jamming, another one giving a 2K DP buff when uh, Digiburst it away. And then just using that Mimi to pass turn, go ahead and get it in rotation, set your memory uh, to three every turn so you can start making some big plays. Uh, Alphamon over here, though, going into uh, the Dorumon on top of the Dorumon. Very classic play there. Gain that memory, draw that card, and then going into a uh, Darugamon on top of that. Get that uh, uh, blocker online and that 1,000 DP buff. Uh, and then we're going to see that cool boy come down. So this is going to be a new searcher for the deck. So you're going to be able to reveal the... I believe it's top three here of the deck and add a card with x antibody in its uh type so uh the only card they're going to be the level four which they unfortunately do not need as they've already got one and then bottom decking two more tamers uh here we're going to see the new level four uh dex durugamon and that's going to evo for zero so just allowing a draw um there is an ability where you could discard to gain a memory back um, but you cannot activate effects in raising areas. So they're just going to use that zero evo cost to draw another card. And they're going to use the new Dorumon there to on play, trash a uh, X antibody, and draw two. So again, cycling through the deck we're insanely, insanely fast here. Uh, but going to kick it back over here to, to green. Got that Mimi, so they were going to gu be guaranteed that three... Uh, memory I'm gonna go into a green memory boost looks like they're already bricking a little bit no level four so gonna go ahead and reveal up top four of deck add any green digimon we're gonna see the akuamon i believe that is the the promo there uh and then we're gonna see the uh, the regular akuamon gonna pick up the regular akuamon and bottom deck the others there i believe that was which ones those were so uh One's going to reduce the, the Evo cost of your Mega. Uh, the other one is going to uh, let you Evo for zero on top of the other one, giving you another uh, Digisource there. Just going to play the tie to pass turn there and excuse the, the hiccup in uh, Tabletop Simulator as it shifts camera focus. Uh, Coda coming down here, so we're going to see a search off the top of the deck there uh, and setting up that Memory Fixer as it's doing. Mimi's doing really well for them. So uh, only target there is going to be the Alpha Mon. It's the only Digimon. Again, more Tamers getting bottom deck. Probably not what they want to see here. Uh, all their uh, their searches so far have been a little uh, a little on the disappointing side. Already we they saw the the double level fours and maybe they need that Alpha Mon. Um, but judging by that hesitation, it, they might already have an Alpha Mon in hand. But kicking it back over to green once again, we're going to see that hard drop of Terrier Mon, the memory blocker, which is actually super crucial with uh, the way the new X antibodies are working there, gaining all that free memory off of, you know, the, the Evo on top of each other, as well as the uh, the, the Doru Mon there, you know, giving a, a free memory when a source is played underneath, which is exactly what was going to happen right here. That Doru Grey Mon coming down is going to place a source underneath um, but it's going to turn that Terrier Mon turning off that memory gain very, very uh, clutch here. Um, then we're going to see that the Hour Mon getting put underneath, so allowing the 
Alpha Mon to attack twice. Some very familiar plays here. Nothing too new or crazy. And then we're going to see just a straight uh, Evo into Alpha Mon. And no Dex Doru Greymon. Very unfortunate that they did not have that. Getting that extra draw as well as that extra inheritable underneath for uh, the the Our Yukon. That's going to actually be super crucial losing out on that. Here we're going to see the uh, the Searcher rookie here. Going to pick up that level 4. I don't believe... I think it has to be an insect type. Or else that Weedmon would definitely be the better target. Uh, just being able to gain that memory when you Digiburst is going to be a little bit better than that blocker. I mean, they could just Evo the blocker right here on top of the, uh, the rookie. But I really feel like they're probably going to want to use it in Raising Area. Here they do decide to use the memory boost. Going to gain 2 here. Very interesting play. Uh, Evo for one, I guess. Okay, so they wanted to Evo into, and then maybe Evo into the level five right here. Yes, okay. So that's what it was. They didn't want to pass turn on that uh, level four Evo. So uh, pop that memory boost so that way they could go into level five. All right, kicking it back over to Alphamon, though. Alphamon's ready to make some moves at this point. Uh, here we're going to see the Ryudamon coming down in Raising Area and uh, go straight into the Hour Yukon. Doesn't even bother, bother with the Alphamon, gain, trying to gain that two memory back. Uh, I guess because the uh, the Terriermon there is stopping that. So going straight into the Hour Yukon for three uh, is going to pop both rookies, which will turn that Terriermon off. Turning that Terriermon off, I think, is... Uh, exactly what their uh, the goal was there was no point in swinging with alpha mon with a lower dp if you weren't going to be gaining that uh that memory back because of the the terrier mon so it definitely makes sense to go into the hour you can there uh here they will see that swing in for security security attack plus one from that uh that doru gray mon uh looks like we got a 1000 dp buff as well from the daruga mon uh but nothing too crazy unsuspends because of the hour you mon here so uh, at this point, could swing again if they so choose. Instead, just going for the Black Memory Boost. Very interesting play here, which will uh, normally pass turn, but our Yukon's ability will kick in in a moment. So going to uh, pick up one Black Digimon picks up another Our Yumon. Okay. I'm, I think I might see where this is going here. You might see it too. It might make a little sense. So going to go ahead and bottom deck those. Uh, going to pass turn. Our Yukon's ability kicks in. We'll uh, bottom deck up to seven uh, sources to gain back memory here uh, for each one. Anything but a uh, but the baby. So there we're going to see five and has to get rid of the Duru Greymon. Uh, to give them the six. They needed the six here. The six was very important. If they had gone into the Dex Doru, uh, Doru Greymon, like I said earlier, then that would have been the six, and they could have kept the Doru Greymon with that security attack uh, plus one inheritable. If they had kept that and they had gone into the Dex, this right here would have mattered. So uh, our Yumon getting placed down because of the Yuji. Yuji being able to use his ability to suspend and place a source underneath. This is a new our Yumon. So after the attack, it will get to unsuspend, which is very, very powerful. So just checking one here, though. If they still had that security attack plus one, they would be checking two. And then we'll see the last one here. And at that point, they'd be clear to swing for game with the Dorumon. Uh, instead, though, Doramon having to clear that last security out, which was nothing. So, uh, yeah, if they could ke could have kept that uh, Dora Greymon, uh, that would have been uh, super, super clutch. Um, unfortunately, did not have it. So, going to have to pass turn here um, and pray they can get one more turn off at full five security at this point. And I, like I said at the beginning of this, we get to see both decks pop off. So, you know what's coming. We see the plays already set up. They have the uh, the Mimi, so they're at uh, double Mimi on field. We see the uh, the level five here reducing the Evo cost. Uh, I believe that's the, the yeah that's the one that reduces the. I could be wrong. It's hard to keep these these straight sometime. Um, so gonna Evo the rookie there. So maybe yes, Evo the rookie for zero. Get you your draw. And then, yeah, okay, so then you're going to go Evo there for for two with that, yeah, reduced Evo cost, and that still gives you one memory uh, to build Evo into your Mega. But they're going to Digiburst first here, giving itself Security Attack plus two, and then going to Evo for one into the Grandis. 
All right, and this one, the power plays come. So after the attack, it will get to unsuspend itself. Um, but first, probably should go with the uh, the Mimi to promote up, just in case you hit something in security. Like, that'd be really bad if it was the last card in security. Uh, and then your, your level 6 gets deleted before you could uh, promote with Mimi. So going to swing in for three checks here. Uh, doesn't hit into anything. We do see that Dex uh, Dora Greymon that they were looking for, that they needed earlier. Uh, swings for more checks. Hits into an Alphamon on the, la on the last one, but it's the new Alphamon. If that was the OG Alphamon, it would have prevented any more attacks. Uh, for the rest of the turn, everything on the field would have, uh, on the opponent's side of the field, would not been able to attack at that point. Uh, and then uh, at that point, Alphamon would have just won. If it had been. Just because uh, it was the new Alphamon instead of the original Alphamon, again, cost Alphamon the game. So two instances of just not having the right card at the right time prevented Alphamon from winning. But we also see just the pure power of, uh, of Grandis. And then if they had done that Digiburst and it had been that Weedmon, they would have had an extra memory. They could have played a delicate plan with that tie and, uh, and then had no fear of uh, security options either. And it would have been even more of a less risky play for them. Because at that point, there's nothing DP high enough that Grandis has to worry about. So turning, if they had turned off all the options, uh, Alphamon would have really been hurting and it would have had to solely rely on that security effect of the, uh, the OG Alphamon. So let's go ahead and take a look at those deck profiles though. All right, first up is the Grandis there. Uh, pretty much all, mostly all self-explanatory. The Yokomon's really good if you can't get into the Palmon. Uh, Palmon is your, your primary uh, rookie to Evo, though, just because you want to uh, give it jamming. Um, some people are tr just thinking that Palmon might not be needed, that Grandis al already has enough uh, DP. Um, but where the jamming comes in is if they if they DP minus you, say they, say they Wyvern you, and it takes you down to 1,000 DP, if you have jamming, you're still good, right? Uh, the next check, if you don't have jamming, is going to kill you. Um, so I think it's really important to have that jamming, just because if they can't kill you with the uh, the DP minusing and you're still alive, you want to still have jamming. Uh, so I think that's really imperative. The the Terrier Mons are so powerful right now. There's not really like another good green alternative rookie, I don't think. Um, being able to turn off that memory gain, we saw how powerful it was against Alpha Mon. Just being able to turn off those uh, the Dex Mons from going on top of you know each other there, and then stopping the the Hour You Can ability as well. Uh, how to use the Hour You Can just to clear a Terrier Mon. That's crazy. How to use an hour you can just to clear a Terriermon off field. Yeah, that's how powerful Terriermon can be. Um, so really cool stuff there. Uh, the weed mons, I already talked about getting that, that memory to activate your delicate plans is pretty uh, pretty powerful. Uh, the the one cost Evo um, blocker there, just a stack up. If you can't get into the weed mon, it's a good alternative. Just to turbo into your, your level fives here. The uh, the Arbomon just for that, you know, hybrid for game if that if you need to. Um, yeah, we see the Akua Mons. These are all like mandatory. There's really no contest there. Just that zero Evo cost and, and everything like that. So yeah, the you're gonna get the the first one there that's gonna give you your piercing, and then go to the second one that's gonna reduce your Evo cost. That reducing Evo cost is super important. Uh, also, zero memory to Evo on top of your Akua Mon. So uh, if you do that. You can keep the the reg, regular Akuamon and keep that piercing inheritable, and that's really important because then you can digi burst away the X antibody one with your level four, your level three, and your baby, uh, and keep the Akuamon as the because uh, it's a fifth inheritable. Keep it for and keep that piercing. Uh, so if they use blockers or anything like that, you're still good. So very powerful. And then of course you got the the Grand Kuagamon OTK package, pretty self-explanatory. The ties with the delicate plans, the Mimis. We saw how powerful double Mimi is. If you can't use Arbomon for game because you don't have the memory, because they were at zero memory like we saw, uh, double Mimi will also win you the game. So uh, yeah, and I think that's probably the best. I have some pe seen people run Davis for the consistency because he's, he can search out your green pieces and then they run the blue hybrids instead of the Arbomons and then you can Evo those for game. Um, but I think just the efficiency of Mimi being both a memory fixer as well as that double uh, Mimi for game is really powerful. And then the green memory boost just to fill out the rest of it. Literally nothing else is needed. You just have your OTK engine uh, with your, your Mimis to finish it off. And then we got four splots here for flex for the ties and the delicate plans if you're afraid of options it's a good tech just to work in it fits very comfortably and then the four uh, green memory boosts there just to help dig as fast as possible and work through your whole uh, deck as quick as you can
Here is the Alphamon build that we saw. Uh, pretty pretty on the nose here. We're going to see uh, the, the main rookies. The, the Dorumons here to, to help you dig through your deck a little bit better. The Ryudamons also, they're just really solid searchers um, for the deck. Uh, and then we're really, really lean here on the level four. So we just got the Darugamons with the Dex Darugamons just to help cycle through the deck, gain a little bit of bonus memory, you know, just being super efficient to go through uh, our deck really, really rapidly. And just two Grumblemons for that hybrid for game. Um, being able to go, you know, swing with Alphamon twice and then... Uh, our you can give you all that memory, so then you can go into your Grumblemon. Super strong. The uh, Dora Greymon's at security attack plus one is super, so good. Um, placing a source underneath, like your uh, Our you mons, and then going into the decks just to give you another uh, draw, as well as cycling through your your deck. Uh, you know, I guess that's the same thing, but also gaining that memory. You know, it's it's very very efficient, giving you that extra inheritable. Uh, also, the the decks Darugamon gives you retaliation blocker. Which is super pop or super powerful uh, against um, the Alphamon, right? Or not the Alphamon, uh, the uh, uh, green OTK. So if they try to uh, pierce over it, you know, like just for kicks, you know, that's going to hurt them because it's got retaliation. They can't do it. So uh, they have no choice but to rely on pure OTK and just pray that, you know, they're going to suspend this so you can't block with it. And then they're just going to swing at security. If they don't manage to OTK you immediately, then uh, then they have to basically deal with uh, your, your follow-up turn, which will be really, really powerful. Uh, then we got an even split of the, the old Alphamon with the new Alphamon here. Uh, that old one just gaining that memory back. You know, it's very efficient at the OTK strategy like we've seen in the past. You're, you know, you're going to swing, uh, do two or three security checks, unsuspend, uh, gain memory, uh, swing again, uh, do two or three more security checks, and gain two memory back. And that two memory back is exactly what you need for your Grumblemon, and then go Grumblemon for game. Uh, the, the new one is more of like a control sort of thing uh, where, you know, if you're, your back is to the fence, you know, you can uh, be a little bit more controlling, de-digivolving, putting a source underneath, giving an extra inheritable, and then swinging. You know, if you can't uh, use the, the Dura Grey Mons to put something underneath or the UGs to get your Hour U Mons, you know, you can use the OG or the new Alpha Mon to grab your Hour U Mons. Um, so a little bit more versatility. I like, I really digging the even split so far. Uh, also, this Alpha Mon, we saw how powerful it could have been if it had been hitting security there to uh, to s just turn off the uh, the opponent. So uh, really good stuff. Our Mon, of course. This is just in here to uh, to put underneath. Like you should almost never need to Evo into our Mon. Between the incredible amount of searching and, and cycling that this deck can do. Like, you shouldn't just brick on an hour you mon only, okay? It just it shouldn't happen. Uh, and also, if you do that, you know, then you're going to kind of lose out on your, your alpha mon hour you can here, which is also really powerful. I got two Congos in here. We didn't see it. Also, would have been super strong if that had gotten hidden security. Um, also, can just play it to pass turn to prevent your uh, opponent from winning. Um, basically, you're going to prevent the, uh, the rookie with the double Mimi, as well as you're going to prevent the... Um, the hybrid for game with the Congo, so they can OTK you. Uh, they can at least clear all the, your security, but they can't win, so that's really powerful. Again, if they had played the Congo uh, to pass the turn, we would have saw them uh, win on the following turn because they because green OTK had nothing. Um, we're going to see some a lot of searchers here, the cool boys, the Codas, uh, and then the black memory boost here. I do have some changes that I want to show you guys that will be uh, later this week, so definitely check back in for this next deck profile. Um We'll, we'll do a more in-depth of everything, um, as well as some tweaks that I've got for the deck. 